That looks very handy. Indeed, he follows. And follows. The first 180 of the match goes to the Aussie. The second 180 of the match goes to the Dutchman. Well, that's what we love to see. 57. Always love it when 180s are answered right away. Sometimes they get even carried away with a third and a fourth, but that was last year's final. I think I'm remembering. Well, it happened then, didn't it? To some tune. Oh, couldn't follow the first dart with the second to leave the bullseye opportunity. Maybe one here at the end of this visit for BVP. Well, just a ball now. And that was not a very good offering. And he kind of made a face about that. The one dart for double 16 to level. 52. Very requires 38. Well, it's their first best of seven match, Rod. And sometimes. And there, as we see the double go in for the 2 0 lead, and, and I was getting to the point. Well, match play lost to Humphreys in the quarters. Grand Slam of Darts knocked out Van Gerwen, lost to Cross. Player Championship Finals lost to 60. Joyce. Damien Rigo, 167. His consistencies created a bit of ex expectational pressure from those in the darts world about what he might do in general. Like, sometimes it's winning that puts that on you, but just being such a consistent performer, I think, in, in Damon's case, is what's going on. My goodness me, that's a way to win a set of darts, an opening set of darts at the Alexandra Palace. Takes on the world champ later, Michael Smith. That could be an absolute barn burner of a game, as could Van Gerwen Bunting. Yeah, I think that will be a barn burner, especially if Michael Smith sort of unleashed. I think uh, Mattis Rasmo was a bit uh, slow for his liking. Didn't really get a pace he enjoyed, but he, he will against uh, Chris. Yeah, the world champ was rather spluttered and stuttered his way to this stage, but can he ignite this evening? Let's not forget he's won eight straight games on this Ali Pali stage, the bully boy. Well, speaking of igniting, Rod, how about being on 41 after nine darts for the Heat? Double 16 for an 11 dart leg. And a break of throw, and that's exactly what the Aussie ordered. Wow, this is a tremendous riposte. Still vulnerable, though, unfortunately for him, and Vampire is still attacking. Ruthless. Eight maxims already in this match, four apiece. 140, very required. Well, he's crafted the chance. He's dug out the opportunity. Can he take it? This is for a two sets to nil lead in a race to four. Found the treble. Double nine. Oh, he was that close to a two set lead. Well, and this is where Hedda's experience should help him. It's a lot of pressure, yes, but he's used to, used to dealing with it. This one dart at tops, get the best throw you can. 24. And it did sail on him. We've seen a few sail for Barry, but Very not to the consequence nine. of that one from Hedda. Well, both players have missed a dart for the set here. Hedda looking for one set each, Vampire for two zip. Got to split the nine. Got to find the one pointer to lead double four. Navigates that. Two darts in hand. One left in the locker. And Barry Vampire finds the target. And why wouldn't he celebrate? He's on course here for a sensational place in the last 16 of the World Dart Championship. Good cover and a decent setup, but Vampire could still sneak this out. 
Uh, so some relief now for Hedda. You can try and get a 2 0 lead once again. Don't forget he had a 2 0 lead in set two. Tops. Double 10. Well, this time he needs to close it out, Rod. And it's a little harder this time around, though, because it is. That's who has kept his Movember mustache, hasn't he? He looks like a gunslinger from a Western. What sharp shooting has he got here? 64. Very important. Would have wanted a little more than that, but still has some good hope here of sweeping the set. 57. David Uruguay, 97. That same target he'll be after the triple 19, and he finds it. Tops. That's a beautiful finish. Pop, pop, Damon Hetter railroads through that set to get this game very much back on. The Australian now back within a set. He's 2 1 down. He's got the darts in this one, though, and he's looking to level it up. In a couple of minutes, it'll either be two sets all or Vampire will be three sets to one up. Odds on 2 2 now. Is this one of those answer situations, though, Rod? No. Nope. Come on now. We, what, what we really want. We know what we want. We want more of the same from Damon here. Oh, he's lining them up. Well, you know what that means. Oh, and he had a little kind of a mini sell up there. A little look around and a smile. He knows what he's up to. Looking for the magic of the nine dart leg, and he got seven darts into it. The, the irony that going down under undid him. <laughs> 109. Well, simply sublime, as John says. Down under dart was not on target. Double 16. That's on time. It's a brilliant leg, anyway. Which way you look at it? It was a 10 dart leg. It is a match leveling leg from David Hatter. This match is all square. It's two sets apiece. Loose. 86 left. 54 for 32. Well, two of his worst darts of the match have come at a very inopportune moment. 57. But they Berry may not matter unless Barry Van Peer has got a real roof raiser at the end of his right arm. Well, remember, it's a while ago, but the 1 4 2 out that took the first set. He does have it in himself. Yeah, it was the third leg, which was the last leg of the first set. You're quite right, John. The 1 4 2. If he can put this first dart where he wants it a second could quite easily follow he can't do so the one five six very much the signature shot of the doyen of dutch darts raymond van barnveld we'll see him later we'll see a double 16 there from damon hatter well yeah even if he had a 180 damon has opportunity to re, re retake the lead well how about a 180 yourself that's the best way to grab the bull by the horns. One treble visit, two treble visit, three treble visit. As Hetter races right for the line in set five. 11 data, 12 data will do. Oh, and it, well, 13, 14, or 15 will do in point of fact because Vampire is in the distance. Little bit of a bigger fan with Vampire on 206 of going 16s on 88 because you ended up on this double seven and it doesn't end up being a problem for Damon. Well done there. Three. Well, in the old adage, it's simply got to go. Otherwise, it'll be Barry Vampire who's got to go. And we're at the point of confidence in, in Damon that we think he's getting this 51 I think he Very thought he'd get it as well the way he's 
playing at this moment in time, at this point in the match. He's at 40% on the double now. Very Vampire. Can ill afford to miss this. He's two legs from defeat at this moment in time. Didn't want to come inside that. But full credit to the young man. Yeah, HMS Van Peer is still afloat here. Yeah, well, he let that first start at double five sale, that's for sure. He did. But Hatter's still in charge. And that just, to him, felt like he'd been hit by a pea shooter. His first dollar double in this leg is going to be at double 16. 56. He seems to be taking issue with his favorite double at the moment. He was just shaking his fist at it. Yeah, he's become increasingly irate with double 16, hasn't he? That leaves a finish now, so now he's under a little bit of uh, scrutiny on this double eight, Damon Hatter. No score. Yeah, and it's frustrating to say the least for Damon Hatter. And here now, he can enjoy the moment, put the maximum amount of focus in here. Try not to take too long and get the crowd too noisy against him. I mean, that's one thing where he's flirted with danger in this match. I know you got to take your time, but you don't want to take it to this extreme, I don't think. I'm not sure he can enjoy this prospect. He's a dart away from going a leg away from defeat, and he wants 108. You'd have to be some kind of masochist to enjoy that. John? Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> exciting to watch it. Let's see what he can do here. Can he conjure up a bit of magic? Oh, he can. Oh, he can for double 16. That's magic, all right. Magic darts. Skin saving darts. And exciting for everyone but Damo. Well, despair for Damo because four darts were missed. I said that he'd be a leg away from the match unless he missed a raft of darts at Dublin. That's exactly what he did, four of them. And Van Pier still had to produce a three-figure outshot, his second of the match, to salvage the leg. They thought it was all over, it's not now. Well, how's that for some statistical deviation, Rob? Wow. He's sprinting away from the main. Well, he's playing some mean darts, I know that. Now we saw Hetta attempt this. And BBP can't get beyond six darts, but the two maximums he struck have put him in total charge of this leg and set. Well, he had two maximums in the fifth leg of the second set, which pretty much earned him that set. 58 needed, had to not on a finish despite the maxi. Level game, level game, off the canvas, and has landed some heavy blows on the heat. Three sets all, all the way, it's showtime at the Alexandra Palace. Seventh and final set, first leg, Barry to and Damon had a just feeling right now. Well, David got that break a throw, and, and why it's important is now he can avoid the tie break situation if he just holds. And he does. Now one leg away, Damon Hatter, and trying to G himself up for one last surge to the line, John. Yeah. Barry did the same. That's in. The single will do nicely to lead. Double 16 for the match. 72. Wants Very another go at it. Yeah, he's going to have a talking to to that double 16 after the match, even if he wins. He's not happy with it. Well, he's going to have another liaison with it 
in a moment or two unless Vampire can produce another sensational three-figure outshot. He's had a 142 and a 108. But this is not going to go this time. And is he resigned to his fate? Does that little look indicate that the towel has come in? Well, Hatter still has to finish it off on this pesky double 16. can't believe it he just can't believe it on a platter just won't go well in the third leg of the previous set he missed four darts and a double and now in the third leg of this set the one he hopes will clinch the match for him he's missed another four there in fact now he's missed 28 at darts a double in the match this match is not over yet folks Well, this leg's where Damon has the ace up his sleeve that he earned in the first leg. Well, they essentially was given a life, and again, uh, we mentioned uh, free play. This is free play right now. He, 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 he could be bought backstage and wondering what went wrong, and but he's not. He's up there with a chance still. Well, that last dart gives him the edge. It gets him down to a finish, albeit a difficult one. Yeah, Damon had uh, Barry pick his pocket, and now Barry's playing with his money. 100. Barry, 129. Well, this to send it into overtime. Needs the setup turn, needs the treble. 52. Went hunting the ball's Damon eye. Has left himself. 77. The finish that John Park took out to win the 2003 World Championship. But will it matter? Will it matter? Chops! Delight for Damo! The heat catches fire just at the right time to bang in a sensational 1-5-1 finish to finally put an end to Berry Van Peer's challenge here at the Alexandra Palace. What a match that was. Can't see an awful lot of that treble 20. All perfect darts for the ferrets. We're getting very close down to these nine darters, aren't we? I thought that last game was terrific. Yeah, Damon Hetter threatening with seven perfect. Ten years after his old schoolmate, Carl Anderson, hit one here. Sadly missed his Kyle. I've just had a big hug with my manager, Mac Elkin. Him and Kyle were absolutely inseparable. Much missed the great Kyle Anderson, the original. Nice key down to a finish, but Clayton, so dangerous. And these sorts of finishes leaves the bullseye. He is so dangerous. There's the ferret finger pointing to the first set. He takes it three-one. His own and prepared differently, and like I said, he's a very highly mortared individual. He's just done so much for Polish starts and. I guess one of his proudest moments was being at the Polish Dart Masters at the World Series of Darts last year. Yeah, a real boom time for the sport in his home country, and Christoph Ratajski can take a huge oh, amount of credit for that happening. Crowds of thousands watching him play earlier on this year. And a world record average in pairs form at the World Cup with Christoph Ratajski. And Christoph Kachuk earlier this year as well, 118. Clayton looking to hold his throw. And get into this set. And that's a very efficient leg from the ferry. Yeah, big leg coming up here for Christoph Bataski. To level the game. Now to double three. And Rataski, not only has he missed three for the set, he has left himself on three. And even more interesting, Johnny Clayton's been second best in this set. He's going to get two darts at 24. Big dart. First time he's missed a couple of darts at double in this match, Johnny Clayton, but this leg isn't over. This is awkward. Although that looks quite useful for him. That looks less useful for him. Left hand side, double one. Five set darts. They've gone begging. 
And Clayton levels this set up and has the dance. Big, big moment early on in this match. Obviously, a huge difference. First to a finish. The battle of the big finish. Remember, this is for the set. 105 would be very handy. That's not going to happen. And that leaves him a finish. You may only get one at the ball if he's allowed back to the board. Another in there, Ferret. Couldn't get it. Would have left double 12. Could have been the greatest 1 3 8 in a world championship match. Great set up, though. 85 is tricky, or can be. Is that in the 10? I think it's in the 10. 25 and ball. He has the 25. Can he get the ball? This is much harder than it should have been. And he's wow. just missed. Johnny Uringwire, 32. Well, Johnny Clayton was second best in this set for an awful lot of it. And now he's two sets to the nil of Johnny Clayton. Look at that reaction. I tell you what, the steam coming out the ears of Christoph Ritaski. Plus finish in it. Well, the highest finish for Christoph Ritaski is 111 in this tournament so far. Johnny, can he match it? 91. Gets up here by 40. One dart missed to hold his throw. Ritaski to take a 2 0 lead in this set. That is awkward. But he fires it in next to it. He's already eyeing up a third dart. I'm not sure he's that confident. He found the mark. Sometimes you can throw a dart and it'll kiss off the tongue. And to be fair, that was pretty much what you can let go of a dart and think that's got absolutely no chance. It then kisses into the tongue in the first dart. And a bit of body come into it. There's two darts away. There's nothing Johnny can do about it. 19 for tops. Double ten to sweep the set. 49. Not Johnny again, he's Uringwire thinking. 86. Total and utter control of this set. Johnny absolutely nowhere. Well, oh, that's yeah. a slip, but he'll go to the treble 14 from here. Can't get it. He should have been getting at least one of the ball. It's a mistake from Clayton, but these can get awkward. That didn't look particularly awkward. And it is the third set. Christoph Ratajski deservedly taking it hundred average in that set. And while it is six all in legs, it remains two one in sets. To now. Now seven years running, he's won titles on the PDC circuit. Seven-time major finalist. It's looking good here. Christoph needs to fill it up and won't leave a finish. It's all in the hands of the Welshman right now. 81, Another one of those annoying deflections out of the 20 segment for Christoph. Another in there would leave double eight. Oh, He'll set it up to leave tops. Johnny Clayton is doing what he's needing to in this set. The whole throw again. Double five. Third. Yeah, they looked nervy, didn't they? Looked a little quick. I had breakfast with him this morning. Now, Johnny Clayton, he decided to split 18 earlier. It looks like he's going straight at double five and straight into double five. And a good spot, and I have to say that I always think when you're going direct to double five because he loves his two double four route. The set here, John Clayton. No, he gets two. He'll need two. He'll need more, in fact. No, it's not his favourite double. He'll be, be frustrated and. Christoph will be delighted to be back, but he'll have to execute this tops. He looks focused. Again, not ideal. 14. Couldn't get any closer, Christoph. John Ringwire, 20. For a 3 1 lead in sets. To double five again. 
and it works for him again. Johnny Clayton smashes his fist into his palm. He is one that's set away from reaching the last 16. He leads Christoph Ratajski 3 1. From them opening couple of sets as Johnny, just round about the, the mid 80s averages, and normally that wouldn't be good enough to beat this man. It may not come the end of this match. Oh, Johnny Clayton. <laughs> Dear me, Johnny. 99 to leave 163. I know it's a recurring thing with Johnny Clayton. I thought he was actually getting things right when he went down to the 19s, but he's left a bogey oh. number. And in close matches like this, that can be the difference between winning a leg and maybe a set and maybe the match. Well, you'd effectively given Christoph a shot at 115. I might have still been on the mind of Johnny. This is for the set, remember. He'll go to treble 20. It's double 18 for the set. Yeah. Chris Dobrotaski is very much set. back in this Three match and plenty of food for thought with Johnny Clayton there. His form has just dipped slightly the past couple of sets. Can Christoph feed off that? His highest finish of the tournament so far and a big set pending oh. because it's the dart of Johnny Clayton. He could have started on the 19s and been a bit smart with his use of the board. Johnny down to the 19s. Yes, the numbers are right. The thinking is clear. Excellent board management, Johnny. What a setup this is. Leaves himself double 16. Tight, tight, tight. It might take a bit of magic. It might take something special. So close to something special that would have put him within touching distance of the win. Just outside. Can he lay it on top? Yeah. Right there. Ooh, Christoph. A bit of fire for the Polish Eagle. Remember that dart. If Christoph gets over the winning line, remember that double 16. That was a beauty. Ton is not enough to get to a finish for Christoph Ratajski. He's oh, allowing Johnny Clayton Johnny two visits from here. Those treble 19s have been a, a real positive for Christoph. And again, just a splendid dart. Oh, what a setup for Johnny Clayton. There'll be pressure. Loads of pressure for Johnny Clayton. Double eight. To hold again and go within a leg. Yeah, you mentioned there's a load of pressure. To reach the last 16 of the World Championship. Johnny Clayton to the 14s. To wrap it up on the ball. Match dart missed, but it's going to take something sensational for Ratajski to stop Clayton coming back and having another go. High, wide and handsome in the opening leg of this match. Johnny Clayton 17. missed the bullseye and checked Johnny that one 25. 25. Will it be the same conclusion? To tidy it up and see off the totemic pole. Johnny Clayton, the ferret triumphs by four sets to two. And he is through to the last 16 of the World Championship. He started so brightly that even when he faded, he found enough to keep on pushing closer and closer to the finishing line. And it means... Players don't mature to this competitive level to quite the well, this is not a Raymond Van Barneveld exhibition. There's another bloke on the stage, and he is a former runner-up at the BDO World Darts Championship just four years ago. And this man is Jim Williams, and Jim Williams knows how to finish a 1-3-5. And the Welshman. And is in, and that leaves double 12. This should go in, John, at the end of the combination. It hasn't. Well, he, he polluted his chances with all those misses. <laughs> Five on the trot for but Williams at this stage, at double, missed. But again, it was, it was effectively a setup up visit, which he's done very well. And he's, he's done that very Williams. well for a change. First dart with three in hand. Gets the double. Well, based on the scoring turns in this match, I don't think anyone could argue that Jim Williams deserves to be at least level in this set. And it's a fifth and final leg here. 24 and you're 120.
26. Brendan Van Balenburg on the 19. Needs a treble. Got to find that treble. Can't. 98. And so Jim Williams now well. was left double six, which is what Barney was hoping to do at the start of that turn. Double three. He didn't want to leave this. Well, it's the most awkward double, isn't it? Nine. Especially the way his darts kick up as they do underneath like that. He, you have to pick a side. Double 14. No score. Oh, the Barney Army were ready to get on the march there. Jimmy but they've been confined three. to barracks as Williams looks to clean up this one double one. Well, he's missed Ring five for the set. He's 26. missed ten in total doubles in this opening set. I think Barney will be more aggressive this time. He wasn't that far away, but he wasn't that close. So it was something like that. But that's in the way. But he went low, and he found the target. And that was exactly where he was looking. Well, this is the Barneville signature shot. That doesn't go. Sixty. Raymond, you Was disappointed not to get the ton there to be in the better position if he comes back. And he will now. And now he'll have to find a treble though. That, that's the problem with not getting the treble Zero last. Ninety-six. Options. Chooses to go for the treble with the open bed and the inviting lie to leave. Double eight. Jim Williams with a 96 check. This is set at the same time as a leg. One hundred and five. Dancing equivalent of the six pointer in football. Mythical six pointer. This is the set leg. As John has just named it. Not quite. 60. But nevertheless, he'll return. Now, that 60 always looks a lot easier than it is, in my mind. Especially the way Williams's darts go in. Yes, they 60 could be them. awkward, John, with the first 20, can't Junior it? Well, what he 60. wants is one that's one way or the other, not dead center. So he'll go to the right, perhaps. He did go to the right, but now it's double ten. And Jim Williams set. levels up Jim the match in this round of 32 tussle against Raymond Van Barneveld. One set apiece now. Still hunting the green bit. 39. He thought my idea was good. Loose start for Williams, but lose 66. So still a chance. 16 leaves the ball. 44. But he really has bodged that from there. Last two turns weren't good. And Barney has the chance to steal. And he does. Burglary on the ball. Barney nicks the second leg. A quality steal, though. A 14 dart leg. He opened the city breaks. Barney, one six one. No. Sixty five. Jimmy Ramon, ninety seven. Well, if you ever wanted the first start treble, it was that. Treble eighteen. Double twelve. Seventy three. Chance now 96. for Barney to wrap the set up. He's smiling. Well, he won't be after that, Dart. He might have the last laugh, and he does! Raymond Van Barneveld, last, last, in the third set, and regains his set advantage. RBB 2, Jim Williams 1.
He wants the ball. 99. It's not happening on the doubles, the bullseye or the outer ring for Jim Williams. Has to be a double five. Ten. Jim Williams has Jim yet another Williams opportunity. 25. And surely he's due by now. Is a double due? Is it Jim? Seven. No, it's had to. Raymond, you require ten. Only double five. Finds it. And it's all Belen going Raymond Van Barnevelde's way now. He started the match with this. And on that occasion, he hit the ball and then the 45 tops. No, he's not going for three balls. Why ever not? Well, that's half of them. Oh. 126 score to leave 24. And he'll still, and Jim will still be feeling it. Come on, I'm do this. I know I love, I love the 32. I can do that. 56. He's missed four dances of double in the last two legs. Williams has been in keeping with his previous play. Barney wants double six now. And he squeezes it in the bottom corner. And the doyen of Dutch starts is within a set now of another appearance in the last from the next round. Now he's a double of 16 away. 16. Jimmy Require 120. Or can he keep Raymond Van Barneveld waiting? Have to find a treble past that awkward dart. We'll go two bullseyes, two bullseyes. Oh my, that would have been a sensational skin saver. It made entire contact with that dart, it had every chance to get it in there. And still, it's not over. Well, it was the other way around earlier in the match, and Barney prevailed. Now it's Jim being gifted an opportunity. He stays alive. Well, is that just an irrelevant interlude, or is it the start of the most incredible comeback you've ever seen on the Ali Pali stage? Well, he does have the throw now, Rod. And, well, he's using it. Oh. Well, we're not done yet. Well, Raymond Van Barneveld has been detained. Well, to leave exactly 200, which is 10 behind his opponent, who has this visit to remove from his score. Good one, too. Very good one. Leaves 50. Is there any chance that Barney's going to go for 18 to leave 32? I think he will. Do you think he can go 14 for double 18, do you, or 10 for tops? Anything else, because he just missed it a bunch. No, he'll be defiant. He is. He will not be beaten by double 16. Why should he be dictated to? Double eight. And the Goyen of Dutch Darts has done it. Raymond Van Barneveld falls over the winning line in the end. But the great Dutchman is through to the last 16 for a battle of the darting generations against teenage sensation Luke Littler. What a game that was.